Are you concerned about our nation? Corruption, theft of public resources. How about our ethnic divisions? So what are you doing to change this? We each can do something to better our country. Hesabika is an initiative of the Fellowship of Christian Unions. It is a call to Kenyans to stand up and be counted for the transformation of our nation. Hesabika, translating concern into action. When we were just uh, coming in, one of you uh, remarked to me, uh, you mean you are expecting all these people, you are expecting to fill all these seats? If indeed you are expecting so many people, how come this country is not changing? Right. And that is a question we need to discuss and answer. Because you see, you only have to look at, at the news uh, yesterday, the day before, and today, and hopefully not tomorrow. And it feels like everyone is on the take in this country. And that everyone would include us here. And many people out there have despaired of this country changing or going to the right direction. And so people say, all we need is better politicians. Better lawyers, especially. No. <laughs> better engineers. Better teachers. The fact of the matter is that those politicians and those engineers and those teachers are here. And so how come this place is not changing? God is going to call you to represent him in government. God is going to call you to represent him in banking. God is going to call you to represent him in the a classroom as a teacher or a lecturer. God is going to call you in different places. And we must always remember that in whichever place you find yourself, you are a representative of God. You are the voice of God. You are the salt and the light of the kingdom of God. One member of our uh, the forum said, one day he went to a certain office and asked, is there any Christian who works here? Because all that he was hearing is kuja utuone. Kuja utuone. The he, that message that tells you it's not just you are coming. Please come equipped in a certain way. So he walked into a place and asked, is there any Christian here? Because if everybody is asking, then where are the Christians? When I look at Kenya today, I see a country that's old in terms of over 50 years. We should be much further along the development line than we are. We should have made some bridges in terms of reducing the poverty levels, dealing with the societal vices like corruption and division along ethnic lines, and the capacity for us to engage without resorting to violence. The society runs around trust. So without trust, nothing can move. So if that trust is, is breached, is abused, then it does not only result in corruption, but it destroys the, uh, the ethical and, and trust fabric of the society. Between 30 to 33 percent of the resources cannot be properly accounted for, which means that we are spending money, but we are not keen to show how we have spent that money. And a significant amount of that money goes to corruption or is wasted. So our young people now seem to think that corruption is fine, as long as you don't get caught. The end result of this, of course, is that if we don't deal with it, it will destroy this country. And the key uh, issue of concern is that the Christian, who is supposed to be the salt and light, seems to have been sucked into this um, recurring cycle of issues and challenges, and it's not making a difference. God will hold us accountable for the talents that he's given us. There'll be a day of accounting. So if God has given you such a good brain in a particular field, the question is, how do I use my brain for the advancement of the kingdom of God? Is there a way we can integrate our faith that what we practice on church or say in church is the very same thing also that we can practice uh, uh, in the marketplace so that our faith actually not only impacts our lifestyles but impacts how we conduct business on Monday to Friday uh, before going to church over the weekend. I think that's so important that uh, those who identify with Christ Jesus need to rise up and be counted. The person who is standing up 
is a person who is going to say no, that is what the world says, that's what everybody says, but not me. I am going to stand up for my country and I'm going to stand up for my God. Hesabika, stand up and be counted. Hesabika, stand up and be counted. Translating concern into action.